Hi everybody, um, this is a stretch of woods over by Spanish Banks and Jericho Beach at Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. I, I just did a little bit of a take a minute ago and it seems to have wiped out so um, I can't remember what I was saying. Um, anyhow, I'm kind of reliving uh, a time in my past because this is the first place that I arrived at when I came to British Columbia about 16 months ago. I'm taking you to the beach and to the youth hostel that's back here in the woods. Um, that was my first encounter with the city. Um, I apologize about the really bad weather but I think with December in the Pacific Northwest, this is about what you're going to get. Um, these woods are really so spacious and so beautiful, really. I mean, there's no other words for it. You can see the moss growing at the base of the trees. And this neighborhood has so many wild animals, even though we're on a peninsula right now and surrounded by city. Um, they're quite brazen too, I might say. Like one night when I was staying at the hostel, uh, I stumbled upon a rat here and it tried to like take me on. It was kind of a funny incident. And then if you look closely here, you can see blackberry and um, raspberry bushes uh, that kept me fed for a few meals. <laughs> While I was here, it was one way to offset cost. Um, I wanted to say a little bit more about not only studying abroad, but um, moving to an unfamiliar city. When I first came here, though I had reservations at, at the youth hostel and I was already um, enrolled with the school and all of that, uh, I didn't have any permanent housing arranged. And I've, I've done this a number of times um, in Boston. Um, twice when I went to South Korea to teach English, I didn't really know anything about the people that I was going to be working for other than the um, cherry-picked information that I had to work with. Um, I can't really say that you should absolutely avoid going into the unknown. It, it really depends on the kind of resources you have going into it and how resilient you are. Um, I, I have a tendency to live very, very lean and I, I, I've been to Europe a couple of times so I've pretty much done the castle and museum thing. And so really I can count on outside of accommodation, spending about $15 a day on drinking food. And that's if um, the selection is kind of bad. Um, you, with Craigslist and KGGG, which is the Canadian uh, Craigslist, you can find people to set up a roommate situation with and all of that, but it can be really tough. You, you don't want to um, think that it's going to be really easy. And most roommate situations are somewhat not fully legal in terms of a full lease arrangement being signed. And Vancouver is really bad for that. Um, it's uh, almost every basement suite here is an illegal uh, housing arrangement. And so with that in mind, you can't really totally go the legit way. You just have to get as much down on paper as you possibly can um, and make sure that you have lots of cash um, this is the youth hostel that I stayed at, and I don't know what you know of architecture or what you can 
elicit from the details, but it was built, I think, around 1940 because it was used as a uh, military hospital during World War II. And I think it's probably the best youth hostel in Vancouver, but it's only open in the summertime. It's called Jericho Beach Hostel. And it's quite close to the beach as well. Um, one thing that was really fortunate about having gone there and what made my transition into the city easy was that I had pre-existing networks set up before coming to the city. So you really don't want to go to a city where you don't have any kind of program or organization to to be integrated with. So when I came to Vancouver, I had two. I had my my library uh, studies program group to jump into, which was a shared experience. And we had found each other on Facebook, or a number of us had months before. And so we had kind of gone through some of the introductions th there. And then um, the youth hostel, because it's the one that's closest to the university, uh, was a great networking place. It, they always are anyway, but it was full of people who were in the same boat looking for a place to stay that's more permanent.